हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम वंस अगेन टू ईजी इंग्लिश एक्सप्लेनेशन बाय पूजा जोशी हियर्स द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ पैकिंग सेवेंथ नंबर लेसन एन सी ई आर टी बुक नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड बी हाइव सो इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी सॉ दैट इट इज़ टेकन फ्रॉम थ्री मैन इन ए बोट बाय जेरोम के जेरोम सो इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी विल सी द स्टोरी फर्दर I opened the bag and packed the boots in and then just as I was going to close it a horrible idea occurred to me had I packed my toothbrush i don't know how it is but i never do know whether i have packed my toothbrush my toothbrush is a thing that haunts me when i am traveling that makes my life a misery I dream that I haven't packed it and wake up in a cold perspiration and get out of bed bed and hunt for it and in the morning I pack it before I have used it and have to unpack pack again to get it and it is always the last thing I turn out of the bag and then I repack it and forget it and have to rush upstairs for it at the last moment and carry to the railway station wrapped up in my pocket handkerchief so here in the fifth paragraph we will continue further from where we had left in the first part that is let me give a brief summary of the part 1 of lesson 7 packing in the first part we saw that what happened that george harom Uh, George, Harris, and Jerome. They both, uh, the three friends, they were going off somewhere, and they had to do the packing. And while doing the packing, starting the packing, Jerome offered that he would pack. But his real intention was not that. His real intention was only to boss and supervise this work of packing to give orders to Harris and George. but they both took in other way and they just sat and relaxed while jerome had had to do the packing so jerome was very very irritated with his friends now we shall see further then jerome opened the bag and then put the boots in again and then when he was about to close the bag he had a horrible idea that whether he had packed his toothbrush or whether he had not he was not able to remember sometimes it happens he i don't know how it is but he always forgets that he had packed or not his toothbrush was a thing that is like a ghost or that is always haunts me means is after me always to give trouble to the author and whenever he is traveling the toothbrush make his life very miserable he dream sometimes that he hasn't packed the toothbrush and wakes up in a cold perspiration perspiration means sweat perspiration means sweat in the middle of the night he wakes up and he is totally covered with filled with sweat because the toothbrush is a thing which everybody needs at the first thing which is needed by us in the morning and he gets out of the bed and searches hunt for it means searches for the toothbrush and in the morning he packs it sometimes before using so we have to use and then we should pack the toothbrush because this is the first thing as i told before which is needed by us and then he has to unpack many times to take the toothbrush out for using it actually he should have kept one extra toothbrush okay so it is the last thing that i turn out of the bag and repack it and forget it then he sometimes have to rush upstairs to his room at the last moment and carry the toothbrush in his pocket handkerchief number 6 paragraph of course i had to turn every mortal thing out now and of course i couldn't find it i rummaged the things up into 
much the same state then they must have been before the world was created and when chaos reigned of course i found george and harris 18 times over but i couldn't find my own i put the things back one by one and held everything up and shook it then i found it inside a boot i repacked once more so here see the explanation of paragraph number 6 he had to turn every mortal thing mortal thing here means the whatever has come into the world it will extinguish finished or die so everything he just turned it here and there everything he had to take out and he was not able to find the toothbrush he rummaged he just disturbed the things he made mess of things and the things were into the same state as they have been when the world was created and when chaos reigned means when there was chaos when there was everything was disturbed when there was the starting of the world the things reached on the same state as they were there while the starting of the world of course i found george and harris the author was able to find harris and george toothbrush 18 times when he was unpacking but he was not able to find his own later on he took one thing one by one all the things and he just shook the things properly and then he uh, put it back again and repacked it but before that he found his toothbrush in a boot now the seventh paragraph when i had finished george asked if the soap was in i said i didn't care a hang whether the soap was in or whether it wasn't i slammed the bag shut and strapped it and found that i had packed my spectacles in it and had to reopen it it got shut up finally at 10 5 pm and then there remained the hampers to do harry said we should be wanting to start in less than 12 hours time and thought that he and george had better do the rest and i agreed and sat down and they had a go here in seventh paragraph what happened uh jerome finished the packing and then george gave one more point that whether he had packed the soap or not by that time author was very very tired of packing he didn't think that it was so tedious task time consuming task so he said that i don't care a bit a lot that soap was in or not he was not he said he was not worried about that and he just slammed he just banged the back shut and strapped it that it is my final showing that it is my final time and now i will not do any changes in the packing and then he found the author found that he had forgotten his spectacles inside the bag he had packed his spectacles which he wanted always so he had to reopen the packing unwillingly then at 10 5 pm his packing work was over but the hampers were remaining hampers means the things in which we carry the eatables or the items related to food and all then uh, harry told that now we have only 12 hours to go less than 12 hours time so we should that he and george will do the packing and jerome need not do so to so jerome also readily accepted as they both had accepted the suggestion and now it was jerome's time to enjoy their packing so jerome and harris wanted to do the hampers and they started to do the hampers packing and they had a go they had a go means they started paragraph number 8 they began in a light hearted spirit evidently intending to show me how to do it i made no comment 
I only waited. With an exception of George, Harris is the worst packer in this world. And I looked at the piles of plates and cups and kettles and bottles and jars and pies and stoves and cakes and tomatoes etc. And felt that the things would be thing would become exciting soon become exciting. It did. They started with breaking a cup. That was the first thing they did. They did that just to show you. what they could do and to get you interested then harris packed the strawberry jam on the top of a tomato and squashed it then and they had to pick out the tomato with a teaspoon what happened in paragraph number 8 let's see they began in a light hearted spirit they wanted to show jerome that packing could be done with fun an exciting manner they showed that they how nicely they can do their job they wanted to show to jerome and jerome also made no comment he only waited he knew that something soon would become exciting with an exception of george harris is the worst packer in this world means george is okay about packing satisfactory but harris is the worst packer in this world and then jerome saw that there were piles and piles of plates and cups and bottles and jars and pies and stoves and cakes and tomatoes so he thought that with the piles of such items there would be some interesting things would happen while packing and he will have the chance to enjoy it did and the same thing happened which george had thought one cup had been broken and that was the first thing that happened they did just to show you that they could what they could do so that jerome also feels interested Jerome told that they deliberately broke a cup to make me more interested in the packing. And then Harris what he did he packed light thing like a tomato or soft or light breakable things should be no, not be packed at the bottom but he just randomly packed to do the work is quite difficult than to only do the work by mouth. we say that we can no packing we can do we have to just put all the things but when we really do then we should take care of all the minor possibilities and minor issues then what happened tomato uh, on top of a tomato strawberry jam was packed by harish so the tomato was squashed and they had to pick out the tomato with a tea spoon so here we end the second part of the lesson yes 7 standard 9 we have packing so i hope you have understood up to here don't forget to like share and subscribe